Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Good evening, Miss. Good morning, Miss. Good morning. Good evening. <laughs> Hi. Good evening, Miss. Yes, just now I going wake up, wake up of the my amaka. You're waking up right now. <laughs> Uh, I come very tired and <laughs> sleep uh, sometimes. Yeah, you took a nap. A nap? A you, maca? You took a nap. You took a nap. Mm -hmm. ah, yes, no, yes. listen. You took a nap in the hammock. Yes, yes. Okay. Awesome, okay. awesome. I envied you because I came home today from work and I had to work again. And I had to work again, and I have not been able to to take a nap or anything like that. So when I finish this class, I'm telling you, I'm going to sleep like a baby. Yeah. Uh, my day uh, beginning at the four a.m. every day. No, I don't like that. No, my day nap um, starts at that time. Mm. I finish at uh, ten p.m. ten. 30 p.m., mm -hmm. more or less, every day. Okay. You go to bed at 10.30 and you wake up at 4 a.m.? Yes. Nah, that, like, no. That's only, not... only Sunday I wake up at uh, 7 a.m. A.m. Yes. So, um, mm, you know, the doctor said that you need to sleep at least eight hours a day to be healthy. I I drink vitamins. Vitamins. Vitamins, yes. Yeah, I, I I I take vitamins too, but that doesn't count. You need to sleep. Sleep is sleep. There is no vitamin, and there's no supplement for sleeping. There's no. not such thing. On the on the midday uh, after lunch, I take a nap uh, thirty minutes. Nap. 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 Sorry. Okay. You take a uh, you take a thirty minutes nap. Yes, after lunch, every day, and help me, more or less. Yeah, it, it does. It does help. I always take a nap when I come home as well. Always, all the time. Like I have. Because I work from, I work from uh, from seven a.m. to twelve p.m. in the at noon, right? So, <laughs> so uh, because, because I come home at noon, I take my lunch. Like I have my lunch, then I watch TV for a little bit, and then I take a nap. Because if not, if I don't take naps, I won't be able to teach at night. Sometimes uh, I don't take naps, and when I don't take naps, it's so difficult, you guys, if, to teach the class at night. It's so difficult to do it because all I'm thinking is I want to go to bed. I want to go to bed. Yeah, so I have to take a nap. I understand you. It, it, um, it, it is in, like, you in, know, 
vacation. In the morning, uh, one hour of traffic, and the afternoon, uh, one uh, one hour thirty minutes. What, Welcome back to home. What what streets do you do you run? Like like what are the streets that you go through? Um. What street? Yeah. Uh, Avenida Jerusalén. Yeah. I live in, in Mexicanos and travel to Santa Tecla every day. Yeah. The Avenida Jerusalén. Well, uh, Inglés Corporativo is, is, is in the Avenida. Well, you have to take the Avenida Jerusalén to go to Inglés Corporativo. When I, so um, I used to teach uh, English in Inglés Corporativo, like in the classroom, presencial, in the classroom. Yes. And like I'm from Usulután. So I had to drive two hours to San Salvador, and I and I took the so because you come from the airport, right? So Sultan comes that way, right? Like como que venía usted del aeropuerto para San Salvador. So yes. you have to take the Jerusalén in order to get to Corporativo. So every time that I went there, it was Saturday. Uh, the days that I went to San Salvador. So um, I took the Jerusalem one time. <laughs> I remember just one time uh, because okay. the, the, the class the class started at 1 p.m., right? So I said, eh, yeah, if I leave from like two hours, right? And I took the Jerusalem at 12.30 p.m. on a Saturday. It was a mess. No, I didn't like it. So from that time, I learned every day I left my house to be in the Jerusalem before 12 p.m. Before. Because if I was in the Jerusalem at noon, it was a mess. So I don't like the Jerusalem. No, that street is very, like, a lot of yes. And I think I... they 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 put a street uh, a stop lights there, like uh, traffic lights, right? Acaban de poner traffic lights there, right? Yes, uh, in the Jerusalem intersection to Mascota, the street Mascota. Uh huh. There, there's a traffic light, right? Yes, is the I hate this uh, light. And, and that makes more traffic, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah that's what I was thinking. Well, you know. <laughs> It's good to, well, to work, but it has, eh, sometimes it's complicated. Karen, do you have a question? Yes, miss. Good evening. Good evening. I have a question about homework eight. I don't know, but I don't understand the activity. I think that is. The homework about... eight is in section number two, right? Yes. Mm hmm I think that is about the allow, but I can understand. It is, oh, it's the topic we're gonna do right now, okay? Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we're gonna do it together, don't worry. Uh, I can help you, but first I have to go with the attendance, okay? Okay. Okay, excellent, thank you, Karen. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute, I was about to cough and then I stopped. Okay, let's go with today's attendance and then I can start with today's class and we can see the exercise on the platform, okay? So let's see. Um, Adan Antonio Ramirez Aguirre. Present, Miss. Carlos Amilcar Campos Palencia. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present. Edgar, Edgar Edilson Reyes Portillo. Present, Miss. Edwin Alexis Pérez Hernández. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo García. Present. Gabriela Yamilet Ramírez Ceciliano. Jonathan, yes, es Jonathan Stanles eh, Pérez López. Okay. Um, Jorge Ernesto López Rivera. Present, Miss. Jorge Ernesto Alemán García. Present, Miss. 
uh, Karen Berenice Castro Velar. Present. Marco Antonio Vanegas Corleto. Present, Miss. Mario Antonio Reyes Berganza. Present. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Marlon Fabricio Flores Vargas. Marvin Enrique Arguello Joaquín. Present, Miss. Mauricio Antonio Rivera Rojas. Miguel Ángel Cortés Campos. Present, uh, Miss. Okay. Noé Aníbal González López. Present, Miss. Noé Gabriel Pérez Martínez. Salvador Orlando Veracruz Gómez. Sara Raquel Chávez Morán. Present, Miss. Sergio Adolfo Hernández Rosales. Present. En Gisela Guadalupe Martínez Cruz. Present, Miss. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, you guys, if you know, it is very important the attendance in the class, right? It is very important to be connected. And every time that you have something to do, okay, you have you have something to do. Every time you have something to do, like uh, you have to work and things like that, you can turn off the camera, um, like for an emergency and things like that. But otherwise, uh, we need to have the camera on because you know that is a requirement for this. For and I'm telling you, maybe in six years they are gonna be um, supervising this class because this class, these classes are on the internet. They are on YouTube, right? They are uploaded every day. So, yo nunca vuelvo a ver esta clase porque a mí no me gusta verme a mí mismo. I have never watched a class. One time I tried to watch a class and I was like, nah, nah, nah. I'm not gonna look at that. <laughs> I don't like it. So, but yeah, they are on YouTube. Yes, they are. So, here is the situation. In six years, may, they might be checking these, um, these classes and they are gonna see that you had to your cameras off. Another thing that it is very important is that you send uh, the reason why you're listeners, okay? Because sometimes I don't know why you're a listener, but I need to know, okay? So every day you send a message and you say, hey, miss, I'm a listener because I have this situation and things like that. No lo tienen que mandar para todos el mensaje, only for me, okay? It is only for me. And, and I will see the message and I'm gonna say, yeah, okay. That is the reason why you're a listener. And uh, oh, they, they sent a link today, and I think it's for a Google Doc, a, a Google Forms or something like that. It is a survey about the quality or about eh, something. It is about me, right? And they require you to say things about me. It is okay. You can say whatever you want. I'm not going to say, hey, say that I'm a good teacher. You are the judges. You are going to say if I am good or not. But because I know many students have been asking my name. So my name is Diana Guadalupe Rodriguez Sayas, okay? Because when you enter to the, what is it? Like the Google Docs, it will ask you my name, okay? So if you get there, it's Diana Guadalupe Rodriguez Sayas. Sayas with a Z and an S at the end, Sayas, okay? So I'm telling you this because when you, I don't know, ¿Ya alguien lo hizo? ¿Did someone do the survey? ¿Alguien hizo la encuesta? No. I forget it. Uh, I promise after class. Yesterday. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So it is okay. Whenever you can do it, it, it is up to you. Eso, eso, es una encuesta opcional y es anónima. No es como la que se manda a Insafor. Esta es, es interna para evaluar la calidad de los maestros. Okay. So because for English Corporativo, it is very important that you have quality on the teachers, right? not just someone that comes here and pretends to teach. Yeah, and you need to have the quality. Okay, so just for that reason, that is my name, uh, because he's gonna ask you, he's gonna ask you my name, okay? Okay, anyways, let's continue. Um, We're gonna continue with today's class. Yesterday, I was about to talk about that it is not allowed, right? That topic, and the topic we have today, it is not allowed a lot. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna go here um, to help Karen with the exercise she was asking, okay? So for example, I'm gonna explain this topic in detail 
um, because it's the topic we're going to look today. We're going to study today. But just for you, if you don't, uh, if you're on this exercise and you have the question, like cutting, I'm going to give you the answer right now. So with not allow, we need to use the correct verb B. So for you, the verb B is are, right? And then we're going to say not allowed, right? Not allowed. For example, for he is is, and then the not allowed. Not allowed, it is like no está permitido, right? I am, sorry, not allowed. Or boss, nuestro jefe, it is not allowed. The provider is not allowed. I'm be I believe that these are the correct answers. Yeah, they are. So basically, you're going to repeat the words not allowed, not allowed, not allowed, not allowed. And then you have to, to place the correct verb to be according to the subject that you have here, okay? So you need to pay attention to the subject and then the verb to be. Clear? Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, so let's continue with today's class. Yesterday, we were doing a conversation about some safety measures and a safety engineer working for a company. So this, right. And they were talking about a specific vocabulary that you need to know for uh, safety reasons in a company. For example, that you need to wear a helmet, right? And you know the meaning of that. A helmet is a protection you use over your head, right? And then uh, that you need to walk between the yellow lines. You know that the yellow lines, especially they are on fabrics or like, yeah, they are on fabrics because <clears throat> there are some areas where you cannot step because if you step on those areas, um, then maybe you are in danger because maybe something can fall or you, you're, you are just not allowed to be there. O sea, no está permitido que estén ahí. You are not allowed just to be there. So that's why they have yellow lines in some places, right? Uh, and the earplugs, especially in places where there's a lot of noise because there are a lot of fabrics, like, um, I don't know, it's not fabric. Like, what, wait a minute, I need to do something. It is not fa factories. Fabric is tela. Okay. Eso es, eso es lo que hablábamos. Lo hablaba con ustedes ayer, lo de false friends. Yes. Okay. So fabric, this is fabric. Okay. This is fabric. Okay. But if you want to talk about a fabrica, that is a factory. Okay. That is a factory. So there are a lot of factories where they make a lot of noise because they, I mean, they, they, they make different products. Okay. So that's why you need to wear the earplugs, right? You know, there, there's people who work with airplanes and the airplanes, they make a lot of noise. So people need to wear the earplugs to protect the ear, right? So those are like some important words that I can find in this conversation. And now there's, here is a place. So this is a place um, of a company, like this is like a map of a company and the different areas that there are in the company, right? Like what we know as a croquis, right? So if you can see, there are letters. They are really tiny, but yeah, you can see them. There are letters and, and every letter has the meaning of that. For example, we have the letter A, which is the production area. So obviously, maybe this is a factory, right? Then we have letter B. This is the letter B, which is the reception area, usually where the secretaries are and the first place you get into when you get to a building, a factory or whatever, an office, the reception area. Then we have the letter C, which is the planning area. Okay, letter C, if we can look, where is letters? Oh, this is letter C, the planning area. Then we have the letter D, which is the manager's office. Letter D, so this is the manager's office. Then we have the auditor office, letter E, which is next to the manager office, right? This is the letter E. 
Then we have letter F, quality control. You can say quality. It's okay if you say quality, but the most common way that they say it is quality, okay, quality, quality control. So quality control, so we have one, two, three quality controls, right? Then we have in the letter G, the restrooms. So these are the restrooms. They are close to the reception area and close to the manager's office. And we have the exit, the letter H, letter H. So this is the exit, right? And we have the parking in front of the exit. One, two, three, four parking spaces. So this is a croquis or like a map of uh, facilities, Rex facilities, you can see up here, it says the Rex facilities. So and this is, these are the different areas that we can see in this place. Now, to describe the areas that I can see, I can use there is, there are, and preposition of place, right? For example, I can say, in this map, there is a reception, uh, there is a reception, there is a reception area. Next to the reception area, there are some restrooms, right? Then we have the, uh, there is a big production area. Next to the production area, you have the manager's office. In front of the manager's office, you can see the auditor office across, like crossing, right? Across from the manager's office, there in the production area, you have the planning area. And next to the planning area, you have one, two, three quality controls. Then right next to the quality controls, there is an exit in front of the, of the exit, there are one, two, three, four parking spaces, right? So using there is and there are, I describe what I saw, yes? Usando there is and there are, I was able to describe the facilities, yeah? Are you following me? Are you understanding? Okay, so if I start speaking really fast, because sometimes when I get si excited, <laughs> I start speaking really fast. So if you notice that I start speaking really fast, you say, hey, miss, please slow down. <laughs> because sometimes I speak like that. But now I'm trying to speak um, clearly so you can understand what I'm saying. So what I want you to do in this moment is the following. Do the same thing that I did. Van a hacer lo mismo que yo hecho. You're gonna mention the different areas this place has. And then we're gonna ask questions. For example, if I ask, where is the production area? And you can say the production area is between the manager's office and the planning area. Or you can say the production area is in front of, or is, no, no, it is not in front, it is behind. It, it is behind, the production area is behind the receptions area. Or the, yeah, the reception area. Okay, so you're gonna make questions, you're gonna ask questions, and you're gonna answer with prepositions of place. Do you understand the activity? Yes. Okay, perfect. Let me grab my phone. Let, just wait a second. I'm going to grab my phone and I'm going to tell you the like I'm going to send the pronunciation of these areas. Wait a moment, please. Okay, here I am. Okay, let's see the group. Here is the group, okay. A, production area. B, reception area. C, planning area. D, manager office. E, 
Auditor Office. F. Quality Control. G. Restrooms. H. Exit. 1. I. Parking. Dije one y era I. <laughs> I got confused. Sorry. Okay, anyways, so we're going to practice the pronunciation first. So you go to the breaker rooms and you practice the pronunciation with your classmates, yeah. these pronunciations, right? So you practice and practice and practice and practice. And then we're going to ask questions. For example, let's say that I'm in a group with Karen and Karen will ask me a question. Karen, ask me a question. Where is something? Right now? Yeah, so we can do the example. Okay, Miss, uh, what is the manager office? The manager office is next to the restrooms or the manager office is between the auditor's office and the restrooms. Yeah, okay. so you understand yes. the activity we're doing, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. I'm going to send you a screenshot of this so you can have it. Do you like everyone con las cámaras encendidas? Like I only have four, no, five students with the cameras on. If you understand the, the activity, just do it like this so I can know that you understand, right? Yeah, okay, excellent. Like you're jamming to your favorite song. Do you know what is the meaning of jam? Do you know what is the meaning of jamming? No. Nope. Okay, so jamming. There is, a, there is not like an equivalent in Spanish for jamming. That's what I like about English. English has words, in, el inglés tiene palabras que no existen en español. For example, like jamming. I don't think there's a word for jamming. Jamming is when you are in your car, when you have your headset, or when you are in your house, whatever. You're listening to music, right? And you're doing this. That is jamming. Right. Like, I don't know how to say that in Spanish. It's como disfrutando su canción favorita, jamming. So I'm jamming to my favorite song. There's no such thing in Spanish. And how how to write the word? Like, like jam, jamming. I think it's like that. Let me look for it. It's like to say enjoy, similar. Yeah, like enjoy it. Actually, there's a Bob Marley song that is called Jamming. Yeah, Jamming. It says Jamming. Mm -hmm. Jamming, Jamming. Yeah, that's the meaning of mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, like when you're doing that. Okay. So we're going to go to the breakout rooms, practice the pronunciation, and then when we finish practice the pronunciation, we're going to ask and answer the questions. Clear? Yes? Jamming? Okay. <laughs> Let's go.
One mistake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now tell me about the planning area. Where is? Planning. Planning, planning. area. Thank you. Area. Planning area is in front the parking lot or behind the parking lot. Parking lot, parking, only parking. <laughs> planning, planning, planning area is behind of reception area because it's the letter A. Only behind. Behind. Behind the okay. reception. Behind the reception mm -hmm. area. The manager office is next to restroom. No, it's next. Oh, okay, no, be green. Otro. Where is the exit? Where is the exit? Let me see. Exit. It's H. Um, the exit is um, next to the office, quality office, or I can say the exit is between quality office or quality control. No, quality control. Quality control. Quality control and the parking.
Okay, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that um we are wait a minute. That you practice a lot, so I can ask you the questions and you're gonna tell me the answers, right? So let's see. I'm gonna choose one participant, and the participant is going to be Mario Cristobal no tiene el audio encendido. Hmm. Mm, Adán Antonio. Adán Antonio. Uh, where is the quality control? The quality control is from planning area. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Adán. Let's see another participant. Sara, can you participate or not? Uh, I'm sorry, Miss. I am at, I'm working right now. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank um, you. Let's see another one. Jose Ernesto, where is the where are the restrooms? Okay. The reception area is from production area. No, no, no. The restrooms. Where are the restrooms? ¿Dónde están los baños? The restrooms. You say the restrooms are. The restrooms are. Mm -hmm. The restrooms are. The restrooms are. In front of? In front of? The reception area? The reception area? The planning area. The no, I mean in the production area. The production area? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Let's go with Daniel Enrique. Daniel. Where is the quality? No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Where is the manager's office? Manager office. Manager office is next to the. Rest area. Restroom area. The restrooms. The restrooms. Restrooms. Okay. Thank you. Um. Sergio, where is the exit? Exit. Uh, exit is go straight production area and plan and planning area. It's in, in front of Parking and planning area. Okay. So quality control. Quality control, yes. Between the aircraft. You can say between the quality control and the parking area. Okay. 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 Well, it's between the quality control and the parking area. Okay. Now, uh, That was the prepositions, okay? Como diciendo las preposiciones donde se encuentra algo. But now we're going to give instructions. Vamos a dar instrucciones de cómo llegar a ese lugar. How to get to that place, okay? So if this vocabulary is going to help you. First, we have go straight, okay? Go straight. That means ir recto, okay? Usted va recto. Go straight. Go straight. Now we have the last The next one says, turn left. That is, gire a la izquierda. Turn right, gire a la derecha. Turn left, turn right. Then we have, walk 10 meters. Camine por 10 metros. Walk 10 meters. The next one, walk through the production area. Walk through the production area. Is this is an example. You say walk through the production area, walk through the reception area, walk through this. You can change it. Okay. 
the, the 10 meters, you can also change it. Esto es cambiable, ¿verdad? To walk 50 meters, wait a second. Okay, sorry about that. So you can say walk 10 meters, you can say walk five meters, okay? Just like the distance you need to get to the place. And now, these are the example questions or the sample questions that you can use to talk about um, or how to get to a place. So where is the exit? Where is the production area? Where are the restrooms, okay? Where is the quality control? Where is the manager's office? So these are some sample questions that you can use. And this is the vocabulary. For example, let's say this. We have, where are the restrooms, okay? So I need to know how to get to the restrooms. Como llegar a los restrooms, okay? So I say, where are the restrooms? And I say, okay, first, walk through the reception area. Camina atravesando the reception area, okay? Then turn right, iría a la derecha, then turn right. The restrooms are in front of the, of the production area, okay? Nuevo, repito. Go through the reception area, turn right. The restrooms are in front of the production area. Yes, you got it? Okay, now, this is the activity we're gonna do with the same map, but in this case, we're gonna give instructions how to get to that place, okay? How to get to the place, okay? So for example, let's say, this can be another example. I am, okay, I am in the quality control, right? You can see the star. I am in the quality control and I want to go to the restrooms, okay? I'm in the store and I want to go to the hot. I'm in the quality control, I want to go to the restrooms. So if I ask a person, hey, how can I get to the, uh, how can I get to the, 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 the restrooms? The person is going to say, okay, first walk through the planning area, okay? Go straight through the production area. The restrooms are to the left of the manager's office, right? Yeah, easy. Let's do another example. Okay. I we have to do tripachuca. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Let's say I'm at the auditor's office. I'm at the auditor's office and I wanna go to the parking. Okay. So what am I going to do? Same thing. Okay. So you say go through the planning area, okay? Go across the, uh, I mean production area was first. Across the planning area, then turn left, okay? Go straight ahead, I mean, todo recto. Then turn right through the exit, okay? In front of the exit, there are the parking spaces. Yes? Are you understanding the activity? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. okay, so we're gonna use that. If you need the vocabulary, let me send you a screenshot of the vocabulary that you can use. This is the vocabulary. I'm gonna send it to you. Okay. 
Okay. You got the activity, right? I believe that you got the activity. You know how to do this, right? Okay. Okay.
Bawa serai uh, uh, um, Across in the corner <laughs> I am auditor office. How can I get to
Hello, how was the activity? Okay, so um, remember this is to give instructions or direction how to get to a place. That's what we use for, right? We are using instructions or directions on how to get to a specific place, okay? Now, remember to say the important things, right? Like walk, go straight, walk straight, turn left, turn right, walk 10 meters, walk through, Walk through is like atravesar, like go across. It's the same, like a synonym, okay? So now, wait a second. Wait. Okay, now, here are some instructions, or not instructions really. These are like um, things people can do or things that you can say to different people, like this ones, right? Like safety instructions about a fire. What is a fire, you guys? Do you know what is a fire? Incendio. Fuego, incendio. Fuego, incendio, huh? In this case, it's gonna call. It's gonna be an incendio. Okay, so we're gonna go talk about do's and don'ts. Okay, so in this case, we're gonna say a do and a don't. It says locate an evacuation route. Do you think we should do that or don't? Do do right. We should do that. Now let's do go another one. Let's say use the elevator. You think we should do that in a fire or don't? Don't. Yeah, use the elevator because if you use the elevator, it can be dangerous, right? So you're gonna talk with your classmates and you're gonna decide what of these activities we can do and what of these activities we don't do during a fire. Is the activity clear for you guys? Yes, okay. like as chocolate. <laughs> like the chata. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to send it to the WhatsApp group. It says Castro is recording an audio. Who is Castro? Okay. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Uy, no, esta está llena de oyentes. Okay, there we go.
means Hello, Karen. Miss, I have a problem. Ya vi, sorry. Si quiere apague la cámara. En lo que estoy intentando es conectarme, eh, me ha prestado mi hermana la laptop, pero ah, me pide como actualización de Zoom, o sea, no me, no me da opción de abrir. Um... Actualícelo, es rápido. Es que eso estoy intentando y no se puede. Si gusta, apague la cámara para que no se le siga calentando el teléfono. Okay. Para mientras la voy a mandar a una sala a ver si la deja entrar. Si no, aquí la voy a dejar en la principal. Ok, thank you. Okay, Mario. Okay. Uh, look at an uh, evacuation route. Yes. Do. Do. Okay. Stay calm. Do. Call the fire department. Do. Use the elevator. Oh. Turn. Get back if you forget personal object. No, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, myself. Yeah, myself. La billetera, la billetera. The wallet, the wallet. Sorry. The makeup. <laughs> the wallet, the wallet, a lot of money. <laughs> Use any fire extinguisher. Do. Do. Follow instruction from the recused team. Do. Do. Get close to the to the fire, turn. Go to the meeting point, do. In front, front, front of me, to uh, down temperature. To so, uh -huh. down, down <laughs> temperature. It's very high. Very, very high. high. Very hot. Very hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Only this is the 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 task.
Hello, welcome back. Okay, so let's talk about the do's and don'ts. Let's see. So, first one, you're going to tell me the no. sentence and you're going to say yes, no, or do, or don't. Locate an evacuation route. Do, right? No. Number two, please, Marco Antonio. Do. Well, read the sentence and they uh, say. Okay, sorry. Stay calm. Do, right. Do. Okay, thank you. Uh, Miguel Cortez, number three. Call the fire department. Yes, do. Okay, excellent. Jorge Ernesto, number four. Jorge Ernesto, number four. I have you. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, use the elevator, don't. Excellent. Jose Ernesto. The bar is due to person order. Don't. Okay. Daniel Enrique. Use any fire extinctor. Do. Usar cualquier extintor. Mm, okay. Eh, Mario Antonio, number seven, please. Follow instruction from the recuse team. Do. Okay. Rescue. Repeat. Rescue. Rescue. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Marvin Enrique, number eight. No? Sorry, miss. Okay. Sorry, miss. Um, number eight. Yeah. Get close to the fire. Don't. Excellent. Carlos Amilcar, number nine. Go to the meeting point. Do. Excellent. Sergio, number 10. Lock the doors. Don't. Excellent. Okay, so these are the activities. Yeah, these are the activities that we should, or the instruction that we should follow or don't follow if we are in a fire, right? And I think all the companies have these instructions, right? And they have like a rescue plan and they have everything planned in case uh, something like this happens, okay? Now, let's go and continue <clears throat> with this we don't play <laughs> I don't know. We'll see <laughs> if we have time. Okay, so here we have, what are some rules in your company? I want to listen to you. What are some rules that you have in your company? What are some of the rules that you follow, that you have? Different rules can be, right? For example, uh, be on time, uh, don't smoke, uh, don't sleep <laughs> during working hours. I don't know, there can be like many rules. So I want you to mention some rules that you have in your company. Then we have the question number two that says, do you think it is important to follow rules? Do you think it is important to follow rules or don't? Be honest. Do you think it is important? Yes, I do. No, I don't. And then you have to explain why. Why do you think it is important or why do you think it is not important in case you think different, okay? So this is like a conversation in the moment that we're just gonna do and talk about the different, um, sorry about the different rules that we have in the different quarter places we work on, okay? And there you got it. <laughs> and there we go, excellent.
Okay, you guys, I'm gonna give pronunciation for this conversation. Okay, as I was saying at the beginning of the class, okay, we have, uh, it is not allowed or are not allowed to talk about things that are prohibited, okay? So things that are not allowed in a company that you cannot do in a company. So if you pay attention here in this conversation, we have, it is not allowed or are not allowed to talk about the things that are allowed or not in a company. We have Sandra and Mr. Sea speaking. I'm gonna give you the pronunciation of this conversation. Listen. Good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes. He was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in working hours. Do you have a question about pronunciation or meanings? Procedures. Procedures. Correct. Procedures, yes. Procedures, okay. Caught. Smoking. Caught. 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 No, I didn't say the you. Caught. Caught. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, happened. 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 Yeah, with D at the end. Como un sonido de D al final. Happened. Happened. It's in past. It's omitted. E. It's omitted. Yeah, yeah. The letter E is omitted. Happened. Another question. The pronunciation about values. 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 Value. Okay. Value. For example, many people say la farmacia value. But it's value, value. Procedures. 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 Okay, I'm going to give you pronunciation one more time and I'm going to send you an audio. Good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes. He was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company. So there is no excuse. And also it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Okay, I'm gonna give you okay. some time to practice that. Questions about meanings? You don't have questions about meanings, no? Yes, I am. Procedures. I cow caught like atrapado, cachado. Uh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Caught. How do you say? Caught. Procedures means? Procedures, Caught. procedimientos. Okay. Caught. Okay. Okay.
hello. So we're gonna go because it's time to meet me. And I know it is precious time that we're wasting, not me. Wait a second, what? Wait, can you hear me? See you Monday. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Sorry. Yes. With yeah. my audio. Okay. Yes, Adam Antonio Ramirez Aguirre. Present. Rosa Milker Campos Palencia. Present. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present. Edgar Edilson Reyes Portillo. Present. Edwin Alexis Pérez Hernández. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo García. Gabriela Yamile Ramírez Ceciliano. Present, Miss. Jonathan Stanles Pérez López. Jorge Ernesto López Rivera. José Ernesto Alemán García. Present. 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 Castro Velar. Present. Marco Antonio Vanegas Corleto. Present, Miss. Mario Antonio Reyes Verganza. Present. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Marlon Fabricio Flores Vargas. Marvin Enrique Arguello Joaquín. Present, Miss. Mauricio Antonio Rivera Rojas. Present, Miss. Miguel Ángel Cortés Campos. Present. Miss. Noé Aníbal González López. Present, Miss. Noé Gabriel Pérez Martínez. Salvador Orlando Veracruz Gómez. Sara Raquel Chávez Morán. Present, Miss. Sergio Adolfo Hernández Rosales. Present. En Gisela Guadalupe Martínez Cruz. Okay, that will be it for tonight. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. And see you on Monday. Okay. Bye. Good night. Take care. Take care. Bye bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.